Michael Rappaport, you uncooked sausage link. How many L's do you need to take before you realize it's time to surrender, bro? You fraud hack. Stay out in LA because you are West Coast soft serve vanilla ice cream. You are an embarrassment to New York. And yesterday, Portnoy and Kevin Durant proved it when they put you in the dirt. It all started yesterday when that cheese-filled ravioli officially lost his defamation of character lawsuit against Barstool Sports. Spoiler alert, you actually need some character to defame, you classless scumbag. After it was official, you took that L. They released the deposition tapes where Dave Portnoy absolutely humiliated that tub of sour cream and his incompetent lawyers. Rappaport's legal team failed to understand the most basic of timelines and ended up proving Barstool Sports' case for us. Then Rappaport proceeded to challenge me in a fight. I believe this is Sarlane, lane, who's called me pussy repeatedly and then made pictures of himself having sex with me from behind. That's when I put the shirt on sale. Okay. So it's the exact opposite of what you insinuated. I see what you're saying. Okay. That went well. And as if it wasn't bad enough to be known as the guy who goes and hides behind his lawyers when Portnoy makes fun of him, you shoot yourself in the foot, release your own DMs with Kevin Durant, where KD absolutely emasculates you. Saying that you suck dick and you're a pussy, challenging you to a fight and you're nowhere to be found, clowning you for lawyering up, saying you have no money and your wife doesn't respect you, and not one funny response. Not one clever retort to shut down a basketball player. You guys gotta understand, this is the self-proclaimed king of shit talk. This guy walks around like he's some rough and tough, big, bad New Yorker from the streets. Some Brooklyn hip hop head who loves basketball, who can talk shit with anybody on the planet. And every time shit goes down, he turns to his lawyers or he turns to the public looking for pity. You absolute fraud. You are not built for this world. You are nothing but a thin-skinned clown. You have a thin skin of leprosy-infected skin before you get to your soft little heart. One time, fight your own fight. Like your skin fighting off the infection and the lesions when you're on the red carpet. One time, back up the claim that you are the king of shit talk while you sit there looking like that guy in Braveheart with all the syphilis. For one second, Stop being the culture vulture, begging for the acceptance of a community that fucking hates you, you loaf of old moldy bread. Or you know what, or don't. Either step the fuck up or quit and go back to Hollywood because you're not built for the internet. You're not built to hang with guys like Portnoy. You're not built for places like Barstool Sports. You're not even built for Kevin Durant, dude. Time and time again, KD has proven that not many can go toe to toe with him on social media. I mean, he put you in the dirt yesterday before he had his morning coffee. Woke up, put Rappaport in a pine box, then grabbed himself a cup of Black Rifle coffee. He's an American hero for dunking on clowns like Rappaport, just like Evan Hafer was an American hero when he was on the front lines in Iraq before he decided to make Black Rifle coffee, which is some of the strongest coffee on the market. Coffee for men. Coffee for tough guys like Kevin Durant, not like you. You want to get to Black Rifle Coffee? Go to blackriflecoffee.com slash minute and have yours shipped right to your door. And for fuck's sake, Rappaport, if you are going to go this legal route every time, get some competent lawyers. Fuck. It's embarrassing. I mean, can you imagine Nate and Smitty running circles around your legal team? Jesus Christ, you're even stupider than I thought, you fucking quart of curdled milk.